Fungi represent an entire kingdom of organisms. It's a very old kingdom. Fungi shared a common ancestor with animals about 1 to 1.2 billion years ago. So we are more closely related to fungi than fungi are to plants. Most of the fungi are filamentous, so they form very thin little threads where the cells that form the threads are end to end and then these threads all can form together to form mushrooms and fruiting bodies. And that thread-like part, that's the part that can live for years, decades, centuries, even millennia. So an individual can literally be thousands of years old. The analogy that we often use for fungi is that that mushroom is like the apple on the apple tree. And the mycelium is the tree that lives on and on and on and on. And when you pick a mushroom, it's like picking an apple off the tree. It's the, it's the reproductive structure. Its babies are in there. And in the case of the fungi, those babies, if you will, are the spores. The ecosystem does not work without fungi in this mutualistic mycorrhizal relationship with the plants, providing what they need. The idea here is that many of the mushroom forming fungi have this mutualistic symbiotic relationship with the roots. Almost all the water that comes into a Douglas fir tree is picked up by the fungus, not by the roots of the tree. Well, and this is true for most of the plants that we find around. All that grass in the lawn, most of the water that goes into the grass is picked up by fungi that are symbiotic with the roots of that grass. About half of the species are mycorrhizal, form this symbiotic relationship. But the other half are saprotrophs, are decomposers. Another major role of the fungi is to break down dead organic products and organisms. It breaks down those nutrients. Those nutrients are right available to the trees. It serves this role of helping stop erosion, keeping the nutrients there, recycling the compounds in nature. So really, really important role.